Good morning and welcome to summer. The Voorheesville Public Library is launching the summer reading program starting today, June 1st. You're going to find it on our website, voorheesvillelibrary.org. Big icon, can't miss it, summer adventure at the Voorheesville. As time goes by, it might come down to this bar. So look for it there too, if you can't see it right here. Click on it and you will land on our new summer reading page. We're using Read Squared software this year for the first time. We have summer reading groups for all ages. Here's the teen one. There's also a new one for adults this year so you can challenge your parents to sign up. Before you click to just go there, you do need to register. You can't start with logging in if you haven't registered. So I'm going to walk through making an account. The first thing you will do is tell us, are you registering just yourself? Or if you're a parent and want to register a group of, a whole family, group of children at the same time, you can do that. Teens, you're gonna pick yourself. How old are you today? I'm going to be 14 years old and I'm eligible for the Teen Imagine Your Story book club. I'm going to continue. I'm going to use one of my favorite characters. Her name is Holly Short. Extra points if you know what book she appears in. Here's the teen email. You're going to use your own if you'd like. But we do need to be able to get in touch with you about prizes and things. So you, I do believe it is required. Um, so here's teens at warple.org. That's the email address if you would like to get in touch with me, Debbie Sternklar, and ask any questions. You, but when you register, you're going to use yours. Um, your school name, let's see, Holly Short goes to your high school, maybe you've met her. And she's in 10th grade. Her username is going to be H Short. You can make up your own username. I don't mind, whatever you'd like. And you will need a password. You will need seven characters. One needs to be a number. Holly's, and this is great. She doesn't share it with her friends. But if Holly forgets what it is, she knows that she can email the library. Teens at warple.org and I can reset it for her. I don't think I can see it. I can only reset it. If the two match, there, you have registered. Congratulations, you have registered for the Teen Summer Adventure. If you register by June 19th, there will be an extra perk. We are offering one lucky teen a $50 gift certificate to the Jericho Drive-In. You can share that with your family. Uh, enjoy yourself. We will pull one winner from everyone who has registered by June 19th, one winner for school age kids and one winner 14. So get busy and make an account. Once you get here, you can make an avatar if you'd like. Holly Short, if you know, is a character from Artemis Fowl. And she is in the Lep Recon unit. She's undercover. There she is. Oh, this one for sure. She that looks a little bit leprechaun like and we are going to save our changes. There she is. We can change her every day if we'd like. So once you have your account and you have logged in, there are a number of things you can do. As usual, you can keep track of your summer reading. You can track books, minutes or hours. We're not going to do both like we have in past years. You got golden tickets for your books, and a donation prize for your time. This year, we are just going to pick one and stick with it. Um, I like to do books when I've finished, but if you read a number of different books at the same time and want to keep track of time instead, go right ahead. I'm going to do books. And since it's the summer reading program, we would like you to put in books that you started reading this summer. Either you finished after June 1st or you started on June 1st. Since I'm doing a sample, I'm going to do things that, uh, titles that I've read. And I'm, I'm going to tell you about some of them too. Uh, in the date area, only June 1st 
is lit up because today is June 1st. I can't future read, predict what I'm going to be finished with. But if you go wait until August and want to log all of your books at the same time, you can do that. But you might hit a maximum number of books you can enter per day. If that happens to you, you can use this field to change and spread out your reading. Tell us what day you really finished um, reading your book. So I'm going to put in here Slay by Brittany Morris. Finished that last night. I'm going to add a book review. I like to tell people about books, so I'm going to put in here. If you enjoyed the video game action in, in Warcross, you'll enjoy this book too. In this book, Kira has created her own video game. And she is a black girl living outside of Seattle who has had trouble with people harassing her even when she's playing video games. So she's created a video game that honors black history and only um, gamers who get codes can play and only black players pass codes to other black players. So there's a little bit of a controversy about, is this racism? So that's what um, she's dealing with in the book. And then there's a little bit of a mystery too, because something happens to one of her players. So I recommend that if you like video game action, it's a quick read and you might enjoy it. So besides, so if you saw there, we, for entering one book, we got 200 points. Teen books take longer to read. So we thought we would give you 200 points every time you finish a book. Another way that you can earn badges or points and clear levels for the summer is to complete missions. So missions are kind of fun activities that you can do. Some of them um, revolve around books and some of them uh, don't always. I'm going to show you how to record um, activities in Reading Without Walls. This is a challenge to read things outside your normal um, activity, outside your normal choices, and outside your everyday life experience. So if we, if we finish three activities out of four, we would get 300 points for this whole mission. And we don't get the points till we finish all three. The first challenge is to read or listen to a book about a character who doesn't look like you or live like you. Fiction, nonfiction, or a graphic novel. Um, as I said, this will be books that you read this summer. You can't go back and put in books that you already finished. So if you didn't read um, insignificant events in the life of Cactus with the middle school book club this year, uh, we highly recommend it. We had a great time reading this. It's about a girl, Haven, who was born with no arms. So that is outside our everyday activity. So for the format challenge, we are challenging you to read a book in a format you don't normally read for fun. A novel in verse, a nonfiction title, a biography, an ebook or downloaded audiobook, graphic novel, chapter book. If you always read graphics, please try a chapter book for this one. Um, something unusual. I also thought maybe a, um, reading something on uh, a, like blog posts, if it's a long blog series. So I'm going to put for this one another book that I can tell you about, Lumberjanes, Beware the Kitten Holy. I do sometimes read graphic novels, but this was the first graphic novel that I read on a screen. And I used our the library's new service called Hoopla. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend it. 
using your public library card, you can go to the Hoopla. Um, I'll show you where it's at on here. You can go down to Digital Borrowing. You can go to Hoopla. If you click on it here, you can search through it. And you can download or view five graphic novels or five audiobooks or five videos, or you can mix it up, but you get five borrows per month with that new service. And they look great on the screen, the graphic novels. So I recommend that you try that. So I've completed the second challenge also. Topic challenge. I have to read a book about a topic you don't know much about. Enter the title once you've finished. And I can't decide what I want to read for that yet. And there's an optional challenge to share. So you can upload a photo of something that you read for this challenge. So here you would browse your phone. It's easier to do it on the phone or you're going to have to put the image on your desktop and find it. But you're going to upload an image of one of the books. And you, if you have your own Instagram account, you can post it with the hashtag reading without walls. This is a national challenge, actually. And hashtag verbal reads. So you, if you send us an image that would complete this activity, and you would get all 300 points. So that's a little bit about missions. There are some games here, just little brain teasers, and you will unlock more over the summer as you complete more levels. There's a little game board. It's just showing your progress through. We're on the second step. You can review what badges you already have again. We're up to level two. And this year, you can click here to find reading lists. I usually visit your school and talk about lots of reading choices for the summer, which won't be happening this year. So we're putting reading lists on here, Mrs. Minetti and I. And right now there's one, it's Fantasy Adventures. So you can scroll through the different choices, see the book covers, think about which one appeals to you. And you can click right into the library catalog to learn more about the book. So there's always a short description here. New York high school student Elizabeth gets an after school job as a page at the New York Circulating Material Repository and she gains coveted access to its grim collection of magical objects. Sign me up, sounds great. If you need to know more about a book, you can come down here and read professional reviews about it also. So that's how you will find some reading ideas. It's hard to figure out what you wanna read, especially if you don't have access to the library to browse this year. And in June, you'll be able to request books. Uh, also, you'll be able to see if the book is downloadable. So this one has a downloadable book. It's not currently available, but you could get placed on the hold list. Or maybe you want to try the audiobook. Some of these, as I said, are also available in audio on Hoopla. So that's another place that you'll be able to try to get a book. So check back there. There's only one book list now, but we will add more. And you can go to your logging history in case you can't remember which books you already put in. Oh, I could put Lumberjanes in now because I put it for a challenge, but I didn't put it here yet. Um, and you can see reviews. Once people start to enter reviews, you'll be able to see what other people are reading and recommending. We are not currently using this tab for events. So we are planning some summer programs. If you go to this, you're going to see blank space. So don't depend on that calendar. Don't believe that we are doing nothing for teens. We will be using the website's calendar to share the events that we've booked. We'll be having online events. And you can see them on our main calendar and click on them to register to get codes to meet us online. So for example, here's the middle school book club. And here's more about it. We'll be reading the Grim Legacy. Here's where to download it and register so that we can send you a link on GoToMeeting 
they will be meeting that way this summer. We won't be using the Google Classroom anymore for the summer um, after this week's team time, that is. So, oh, borrowing digital items. If you have lost your library card, can't find it in the house, librarians can help you find your library card number and um, we can email it to you. So please send an email to teams at borpal.org or reference at borpal.org if you need your library card number in order to be able to borrow anything. If you're worried about the items that you had out during this long closure, we've changed all the um, due dates and there will be no overdue fines or this time that you couldn't get to the building. There'll be more news soon about any changes in borrowing and returning books. So that's what the summer program looks like. We hope you'll enjoy completing missions. Once you get to level 10, 1,000 points, you will be entered into a grand prize drawing. There'll be more details about prize packages coming later in the summer. So I do hope that you'll make an account and start to log your reading. And I hope that you win the $50 gift certificate to the Jericho Drive-In. Good luck. and. I'll see you online.